Hey guys, this is a real quick video about the C7 ball screws that I ordered from uh, Linear Motion Bearing. You can find them on eBay. You can see the tube that they came in and they were all wrapped with a single wrap of bubble wrap. The packaging was pretty good. I did have a chip in my X and Z axis, but they were both very small chips. I think maybe a couple extra wraps of bubble wrap would have solved that, but then maybe he would have to use a bigger tube and shipping could have gone up. I personally would have happily paid for that, but... Um, you might request it if you order from him. Other than that, everything looks great. They were machined to my spec. As per uh, Haas's DVD, he outlines what exactly to have or how to have the screws uh, made. Uh, one thing that was a problem was that mechanical nut that I'm screwing off the end. It's got a couple of set screws on it, and they are totally inadequate for holding uh, the end of the shaft in place once installed on the mill. You need to ask him if you order. Uh, from linear motion bearing ask him for two of those nuts so you can jam them together the reason that's important is i had requested uh 1.75 millimeter coarse thread pitch on my screws but they were ended up being machined to a one millimeter extra fine pitch and for a 14 millimeter screw uh that is an exceptionally rare nut i had to order them from mcmaster and for a pack of 10 plus shipping it was uh like 15 bucks and you know of course it took three or four days and it was a total nightmare trying to track that nut down so ask him for two nuts per axis trust me you you can't go wrong another tip is uh, when you receive your ball screws put the nut in the middle of the shaft and then use some clear scotch tape or packing tape don't use the yellow type tape but tape the nut in place uh, because if you ever for some reason get the nut off the shaft and you're not prepared the ball bearings will fall out and I'm here to tell you it's a nightmare to get them back there's information online and a video on YouTube that I watched on how to do it but it still took me hours to get them back on the first time now I've done it a few times and and it's actually not too bad so uh, but there's no need which I'll cover in a future video try not to get those ball nuts off of the screws if you can help it um, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. Overall, I'm very happy with these screws, and I love the way they perform on the mill. As I said in my first video, my machine's already CNC'd, and uh, I'm rolling these videos out kind of slow. So don't forget to post your questions and comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. More videos are on the way, and we'll see you in the next one.